today we are going to take a wonderful journey up to the Kingdom of Fife. And it's a beautiful part of the world and I'm allowed to say that because I am also from there. And as a child I used to spend a lot of time in this particular part of the world because my granddad was the Coast Guard up in the East Nuke of Fife. So, Kings Barnes Distillery. It wasn't there when I used to go up there right enough. Um, it was a wee bit further back than that. But this distillery was established in 2014. It's classed as a lowland distillery. And I'm sure whiskey lovers and people who are new to whiskey will still be discovering this distillery for the first time. But I really recommend that they do. And what I've done today is I've chosen a product that particularly interested me, the Distillery Reserve. Why I've chosen this is because it's matured exclusively in port wine barriques. That's something I haven't tried before. So I was immediately intrigued, ordered a bottle, and that's what we're tasting today. So it's natural color, it's cask strength, and it's unchilled filtered. So the natural color, what it does is it definitely promises a lot of oak qualities. Um, and I guess being established in 2014, this distillery is going to look for some active oak casks to give us flavor and color in a shorter period of time. And that's exactly what's going on here. It's quite intense on the nose. There's loads of spice, loads of dark chocolate, a little whiff of lovely sort of orange peel and zest coming through as well. Quite nutmeggy. I'm also getting a little hint of black currant. Now this is presented at 40, no, not 40, nowhere near 40, 59.8%. So full bill, no messing around. You really feel that. It helps deliver that intensity. It delivers that quality of cask. Uh, you get that lovely sort of astringency coming through from the oak casks and a nice long, long finish. And that long finish is quite spicy. There's that little hint of fruit in there, lovely little bit of orange coming through as well. Touch raisiny, really, really pleasant. And I think Fife is one of those, you know, it's not known for its malt whiskey production. There's a big grain distillery called Cameron Bridge in this particular part of the world. Um, but malt whiskey production, less so. And I've heard some calls of Fife even perhaps in future to become its own whiskey producing region. Now that would be an interesting theory, wouldn't it? So that's the King's Barnes Distillery. Absolutely delicious. All the way from the Kingdom of Fife. Slange.